what motivated us to get involved in this was, as we say, the, 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 the public debate sets the boundaries of acceptable policy choices. And what that has ultimately meant has been, it was, it was experiences on working on issues like Roma inclusion and migration uh, over the last while where we could see the space to put forward good analysis and evidence around values of diversity and inclusion had shrunk in a way. Uh, and so there's a direct relationship between, um, you know, how, how influential you can be, um, what you can put forward or, yeah, at a certain point when the, the public debate has shifted. Um, one thing you could do would be sort of be in a coalition with somebody who is trying to shift the narrative, uh, if that's possible. The other thing that we're thinking about as well also is maybe when it comes to these much more divisive, politically divisive issues or like migration at the moment, um, uh, think tanks could also give advice on how to message to decision makers. So not just on what they should do, but like by going through the research process, uh, one of the suggestions we've made to a number of people is maybe you would be a little more successful in those meetings if you could not ju only talk about what to do, but you also talk about how to talk about it in public in a more kind of broadly acceptable way. And maybe this would reduce the resistance to, you know, to proposals and evidence analysis that's kind of based a little bit on, uh, yeah, uh, driving towards a more diversity and inclusion agenda.